हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम डॉक्टर अनिल जोशी वेलकम यू टू दिस शॉर्ट प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ लेट्स कम टू दी नी जॉइंट स्काई लैंड व्यू दिस इज अ स्पेशल व्यू एंड नॉट रूटीनली रिकमेंडेड यू रूटीनली आस्क रेडियोग्राफ्स और रूटीनली आस्क प्रोजेक्शन आर ए पी एंड lateral sometimes oblique is asked if the fractures are suspected or if fractures are doubtful in ap since lateral has got lot of overlappings in that condition we have to go for oblique the technique is same as that of the ap except that you rotate patient according to the site of injury or area that is projected now here the main indication other than all indications of uh, uh, knee joint ap lateral for a skylar view is to know the articular surface of the patella which is in contact with the joint so any pathology suspected to the articular surface we have to go for this skyline view again this has got lot of ways in which it can be taken patient's position can be different it can be prone prone on the table patient can uh, put his legs down from the side of the table or patient can be with a prone position now all these things are required when patient has got trauma when we cannot modify the uh, patient's position then we will have to modify the technique and we will have, have to modify the film now this will come to know when we are going into the details of it now by and large cassette 10 by 12 is sufficient in exceptional cases that is particularly when you are trying to project both joints together you will have to go for the larger film that is a photon by 17 or you are showing the cassette the femur shaft are parallel and the ray is perpendicular now how much angle should be with the tube will depend on lot of things right from the patient's position to the cassette but the basic principle stands as the shaft of femur the film are parallel and a central ray is perpendicular to the film so these two thing must be kept in mind here what we see is a patella intercondylar fossa lateral condyle lateral epicondyle then styloid process head of the fibula femur body of tibia then medial epicondyle then medial condyle all these things. but most important thing about we had watch is the patella articular surfaces so that is the main indication for this view now let's see how this video or how this x ray is taken okay first is instruction to the patient patient has to be instructed properly as to how he has to lie down and we a technologist must see whether the position is feasible to the patient which is a most important thing if patient cannot do it especially in traumatic patient advanced osteoarthritic patients then we will have to modify the techniques that is usually done in the patient with a prone position now here what we are seeing is a film has to be parallel to the femur now here we are seeing how the collimator is adjusted yes a collimator will adjusted it should be over the patella you palpate the patella and make angulation accordingly so that the central ray will fall on it now second thing is uh, this is projected patella is above the femur so cassette has to be slightly upper one now again the things are checked for the angle then they are checked for the after all points are checked then we go for the shooting now sometimes it happens that patient cannot be in a supine position now this is another way in which it can be taken let's see how it is taken in this uh, the instruction to the patient then placement of the cassette now here the tube has to be over couch that is over the extra table now here the instructions to the patient are given now here tube angulation changes but again the basic principle stands good is the patient's comfort one number two what are the anatomical structure we are seeing we have to palpate it we have to get sure of it 
and as per the instruction to the patient we have to see that it is feasible there are lot of technique in which this x-ray can be taken you can modify this technique for one other position now here you have to see that the patient is cooperative now both the feet are hold by the patient now again it is checked whether everything is correct now you are finding angle is correct distance is correct cassette is placed properly then collimity ray so that unnecessary part will not be radiated with all these things then you go to the shooting that is the you expose the film and take the radiograph now you are seeing here in first we are see shown that both are symmetrical so in one cassette we had taken both the patient is uh, holding it the cassette patient is holding but sometime if it is not possible we have to make patient prone and take the film now if you compare the both the things the articular surface in second are seen well not well seen and the first they are seen well there are three projection one and two belong to same patient they are exposed at same time and the third one extreme right here what you are seeing is the articular surfaces here see the articular surfaces are not well seen here they are opened up now if this is the case you will have to modify the angle and this modification of angle cannot be standardized that is a permutation and combination and you will have to check the patient his uh, feasibility whether he can do it or not thank you for watching this video now in case if you need more information do visit our website there are more article more illustrations and more informations the addresses are given they are just one click away from you.